Today we're discussing the DDoS attack against the New Zealand Stock Exchange and the details of 235 million social media accounts left exposed. Welcome to the Hutsex Infosec Roundup. Hello and welcome, my name is Alex James and first up today, New Zealand Stock Exchange downed in DDoS attack. The New Zealand Stock Exchange has this week been seriously affected by a distributed denial of service attack, with trading being halted for several days. The exchange first went offline on Tuesday afternoon, following what the organisation has referred to as a volumetric attack from offshore via its network service provider describing the attack as mitigated soon after. The stock exchange, which was online for a mere 70 minutes on Thursday morning before being shut down again, has disclosed little in the way of details regarding the attack. The incident comes as just the latest state-based attack against the region, a problem which Australian Defence Minister Linda Reynolds describes as increasing in frequency, scale, in sophistication and in its impact. Professor Dave Parry of the Computer Science Department at Auckland University of Technology described the attack as very serious, noting, Unfortunately, the skills and software to do this are widely available, and the disruption of COVID and people working from home all over the world, potentially with lower security on their computers, means that these attacks are easier than usual. 235 million social media accounts exposed. A database containing profile information for 235 million TikTok, YouTube and Instagram accounts has been found exposed by security researchers. Left unsecured and without password protection, the scraped data, belonging to hundreds of millions of social media users, is believed to have originated from now non-operational data trading company Deep Social. Both Instagram and Facebook had banned Deep Social from their marketing API back in 2018, as well as threatening legal action against the company if they continued to scrape data from user accounts. The records contained, amongst other information, profile names, ages, genders and engagement metrics. Though much of this information is publicly available, it is often against platform policy to scrape user data. Though Deep Social ceased operations in 2018, the data is now in possession of a different company, Social Data, an organisation which strongly denies any connection between itself and Deep Social. That's all we have for today. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And if you're interested in finding out more about information security awareness training, please head over to the Hut6 website for your free demo.